All right, this is, it gets really interesting in a minute, and you're going to see, without a doubt, how the people are recycling back into the building. All right, now the helicopter's pulling out. See the line of people there? See the line of people? All right, we're coming up to the front. Look how they're coming back in. They're taking that turn, watch them take the turn, up, and they're coming right back into the building. Now, skeptics erroneously have attempted to denounce this evidence as manufactured and looped by YouTubers. Yet, as we can see, before the helicopter video pans out, the people are just filing right back into the firehouse. Yes, arrows were given out by various YouTubers to show the characters looping around. And yes, songs were attributed to the edited versions of the videos to clearly show how ludicrous it all is. And yes, the video is played forward and backward right before it pans out to show clearly where the people are headed. But this tape, quite clearly, is not looped. And we can clearly see people walking in circles. When we focus on individual people in the video, we see the same anomalous behavior. The kid in the yellow Under Armour shirt is the best example of this. Throughout the time he has observed, he just walks aimlessly around, in circles, he does this until a lady walks up to him and ushers him away. Now did this lady notice that he was a little too blatant in his attempt at creating a chaotic scene? Now take a look at the man in the gray sweatshirt. His name is Joseph Wasik, and his daughter Alexis gave several interviews to the media throughout the day. He enters the video at around 50 seconds in when he exits the firehouse door and then walks around. He is seen again going back inside the firehouse at about 4 minutes and 10 seconds into the video and then at the end of the video he is seen exiting the building once again at around 10.21 into the video. If you pay close attention to the individual people in the footage you will notice the same awkward behavior of walking in and out of the firehouse doors of course without a child. Uh, Jay Dyer was set to host, but they just handed me a note during the break. And it is, verdict will be read in about two minutes. So that's from my lawyer, Norm Pattis. It's being announced. They had a total show trial. Uh, they are now having the Secretary of State in Texas say they want to sue me for questioning the election, saying I unleashed hell on them. Didn't even question the Texas election. The Republicans won. Uh, but just total made-up crap where, where a public official, including an FBI agent, never said his name, don't know who his name, didn't even know who he was, so he sued me, suing me for $550 million as part of this. They won $8.25 billion just in the first count. There's four counts. That's what the lawyers asked for last week for questioning Sandy Hook. Never said the name of the FBI agent. So now bureaucrats can sue you under this precedent for asking questions. So they're about to... Announced the verdict. The jury took like four days of, of deliberation time, not counting the weekend, to come back. Here is the judge. Let's go to the audio of the biggest show trial in U.S. history uh, with the jury. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see if they saw through it. I don't think they will. They're already told I'm guilty. Here it is. We have reached our unanimous verdict. Thank you, exclamation point. <laughs> right? All set? Thank you for this. Did you give this to counsel? Yes. The judge looks pleased. Probably two hundred million dollars. <laughs> I don't have any money, so it's all a big joke. This is their trial. This is them on trial. There's Blumenthal's son, the anti-gun Democrat, running all this. Stolen valor claimed he was in combat in Vietnam. Never went there. Ambulance chaser, cough, scoff up there. ambulance chasing on steroids proud of our work exposing the deadly shot proud of our work exposing the dual order the wars all of it so proud of our work this is the devil coming after us so so pleased with the jury and she gets to decide their cup of claim on false advertising too so she can get me later anyways This is their political jihad against freedom of speech. 
Good afternoon. Take your seats, please. Yeah. I hope it's 50 million. Make yourselves comfortable. Please be seated. Might as well be the council will stipulate that our entire panel has returned. Yes. All right. Thank you for your note. I understand that you have reached a verdict. Mr. Ferraro, whenever you're ready, please. Sure. For exposing Ladies your crimes. The jury, as your number is called, please answer here. Rise and remain standing. Juror number one. Here. Juror number two. Here. Juror number three. Here. Juror number four. Here. Juror number five. Here. Juror number six. Here. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, in the case of Lafferty et al. versus Jones, Sherlatch et al. versus Jones, and Sherlatch et al. versus Jones, Sherlatch, I'm sorry, um, have you agreed upon a verdict? Yes. 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 Okay, would you please pass the verdict to me? And you can be seated. This is them absolving themselves, all the war crimes, everything. The media is good. I'm bad. On the verge of nuclear war, this is happening. I question the mass shooting. I question Jesse Smollett. WMDs in Iraq. I'm a thought criminal. Judge found me guilty, told the jury how guilty I was. She's pausing to give the media time to all dial in to their full effect, try to give credibility to the corporate system again, which they'll never bring back. It's a dinosaur trying to be resurrected. Come on, crucify me. Let's Just get it going. After rigging this whole thing, not letting me put on evidence, have them put on fake evidence, after claiming I didn't give evidence, all the fraud, here we are down the line. Look at little Blumenthal's kid right there. Look at him, look at him. People are pathetic. Their rule over this country is over. So proud of our work. So proud of your support. You get two years of appeals now. They won't shut us down. You support us. Infowarsstore.com, saveinfowars.com, donate now. Fight these monsters. Okay, the judge just read through the four counts. Talk about suspense. We're skipping the network break coming up in three minutes. Be ready I'm for that just stage. double checking the math. So I am going to send you back with just a very minor instruction, and I'm sorry for this, but I just want to make sure that we cross all the T's and dot all the I's. And as Attorney Pattis had pointed out, I had asked you, um, you probably don't remember now because it was days ago, just to have the four person initial each page as well as sign. Also, I don't see any decimal points, and that's fine. It's consistent throughout, so we can leave it at that. So I, well, by that, I mean there's no decimal point, zero, zero, but that is fine. I just wanted to point that out. Hundreds right? of millions so we per will, um, send the jury back in with uh, that, and then when you're ready, we'll come back out. I don't see any decimal points. So that just told you, millions and millions, including an FBI agent, never said his name, don't know who he is, and that's why we have these headlines here in my stack where the uh, Texas Attorney General uh, says, I unleashed hell by questioning the election. Didn't even question the Texas elections. Project Veritas did a good job of it. So they're going to come back. But now, oh, you talked bad about general topics, and if any random government official can now sue you for it. Well, I was going to skip this network break, but we don't need to now, so put it back in uh, to function there. If we can for our stations, and we'll come back after the break with this. 
People are asking why I'm laughing. Folks, we're on the verge of nuclear war. They just killed 20 million people with poison shots. Billions are sick. Mainline news is reporting in, and they literally are mad at me. I question a mass shooting that was political from the beginning. And I, I will continue to question Jesse Schmollett or WMDs in Iraq or Nord Stream pipelines or any of it. Uh, so I feel good about the work I've done and the listeners of your support. This corrupt, dying political system wants to try to make me the devil. I'm not the devil. And God is my judge, not you globalist scumbags. It's that simple. Infowars.com. Tomorrow's news today. Please, though, go to saveinfowars.com for my own legal defense. I got to pay for 40% of it. Uh, the bankruptcy court said we need about a half million the next year. We can, we can, we can for two years, appeal this. We're not going anywhere. Nuclear World probably on the show before that, unfortunately. Uh, so, but keep us in attack formation, infowarstore.com, save infowars.com, promo code 1776. Woo! She said, you didn't add decimals here. <laughs> I can't wait to actually love this. This is such a joke. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Well, we're awaiting the verdict where the jury was already told that I was guilty in Connecticut in the show trial. And I, and I told people, despite the fact they were out four or five days, Look for a giant billion dollar verdict. They asked for 8.25 billion just on one of their fake counts. Uh, no one even said Adam Lanz's name. It was all me. I killed the kids, all the rest of it. This is how desperate the establishment is. I am so honored to have this happening. So we're waiting while the judge sent the jury back out because they didn't put decibels on how many billion I'm supposed to give. And, and that's why it's such a joke. I don't have $2 million in cash. That's brilliant enough to run the operation. Uh, and so it's a joke. You are standing against them. You are standing against this fraud. Save InfoWars.com, InfoWarsStore.com. That's how you resist getting great products at the same time. We will going to appeal this. We're in such tyranny, they'll probably say no on the appeal, but two years left, whatever, we're on the edge of nuclear war, it doesn't even matter. It shows how tone deaf these people are.